I had some of these baby blankets left from a previous DIY. So this is definitely now in my stash as um, materials that I can use for anything that I prefer. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold my cloth right here. Now, if you have been working with me on all the DIYs, you should have this exact same material left in your current stash. We're just going to cut it. And just so you guys know the measurements of this, we have one, two, three, four gray squares, one, two, three, four of the white squares on one side. On the other side, we have one, two, three, four white squares, one, two, three, four gray squares. Now, this is felt, so there's no right side or wrong side. This side's a little bit darker than this side, as you guys can see. Just a little bit darker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it just like this. And I'm going to sew up through here, all the way through here. And I'm going to leave this part open. And I'm going to sew down through here. So I'm going to sew here, here, and here, and leave this open, okay? And I'm going to use a blue thread, which I normally would not use on this color um, blanket, but I want you guys to be able to see it. And my sewing machine is a little bit heavy. Okay, so here's my open end. So I'm going to flip it. And I'm going to start right here. No, nope. I think I'm going to start right here on the closed end. And I'm just going to put it down. I'm going to put my needle down. And I'm just going to sew a regular stitch. Make sure my machine's on a regular stitch. And it is. Make sure you back your stitch up to lock it in place. Move that back out of the way. See our little pocket? How cute is that, right? Now I'm going to cut my little corners. And if you have like a lot of excess around your thread where you sewed, go ahead and trim it too. It's, I mean, it's not going to hurt anything. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it back in my sewing machine. I'm going to change to a zigzag stitch. Okay. So what we have is this. We have it stitched all the way around. 
And like I said, you don't have to be perfect with this. Now I'm going to take it and I'm going to flip it inside out. And this material is kind of fluffy, so make sure you leave enough room to flip it. And I'm just going to run my fingers up through there and try to find the corners and push my little corners out. Just like that. Don't forget about your top corners either. You kind of want to push those out too. Now how pretty is that? After you've completed that step, what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to sew on the top. Okay? And I'm going to do mine in the blue just so you guys can see it. This is my opening. Remember, keep your opening. Right here where the opening starts to be closed, I'm going to put a stitch in. And I'm going to use the zigzag stitch because I think it's really, really pretty. And this huge bag of rice you can use any kind of rice that you want um, I think the white rice actually does better but I'm not positive on that but you do not want to use the bowl in a bag rice you want to use um, just a regular rice and mine hasn't been opened yet so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it I'm gonna put my little funnel inside my hole and I'm going to grip it just like that and just start feeding my rice in. Once you have it full, still hold this side. <laughs> We're going to put a stitch all the way along the side of this. Okay, guys, so this is what it looks like when it's done. And I didn't make mine really, really big, about that big. But you can make it any size that you want. You can make them square. Um, you can do rectangle like I did. You can make small ones for hand warmers. Um, you can do these any size that you want. Now, how you use these is you put them in the microwave for 30 seconds at a time. So, your first 30 seconds, you know it's not going to be warm. Keep going until it gets really warm. Um, depending on where you live and the power of your microwave will depend on how many 30 second intervals you need. But, they stay warm for a long time and they are very comforting especially if you put it like on your tummy or on the small of your back. Um, I made this one where you can put it on your shoulders or your neck. And like I said, any size that you want to do in these, you can do. And if, if you can just imagine, you can make a small one like this size and put it in your pocket. So during the winter time, you can put your hands in your pocket and your hands stay warm while you're outside. So I know I used these last year while we were Christmas shopping and they were so awesome going in and out of the stores and keeping my hands nice and warm and toasty. And my husband, he uses these. I make them for him while he's at work because he works in a sawmill and it keeps him nice and toasty as well. So... I hope everybody enjoyed this DIY.
I know that I enjoy these pretty much year round because I have a lot of back issues um, and a lot of aches and pains and this helps them go away and helps me feel so much better and feel like actually crafting. I hope this helps you guys and I hope you try this. It's super, super simple and versatile. You can make it any size um, out of any kind of fabric. You don't have to use this particular fabric that I use. You can use any kind of fabric that you want.